Welcome back to DXB Today. Now, throughout the whole of this episode, we've been going at some fast pace. Why? Because things are happening here in the food industry. But it's time to slow things down, right? And I mean right down. Why? Because we're talking to Faisal Nasser, the founder and the executive chef at Lento. He likes to take things a little bit slower, with good reason. Faisal, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Um, love the name uh, of the restaurant. Love the name of the concept. Explain to all why Lento. Right. So um, uh, this is my philosophy. I, I, I believe in what time uh, does to food and many other things. And um, when you um, talk about good food like sourdough, um, uh, fermented pickles. Mm. Um, when you want to cook a uh, chicken stock for a longer time, you know when you talk about your grandma food, it's always uh, it's always like a time-consuming mm. uh, procedure. And this is what we do. Uh, even though we are known for uh, selling uh, smash burgers, fried chicken, and street eatery kind of thing, we are taking our time to do all the preps uh, to make it more into the uh, artisanal uh, side. So, well, the uh, service is quick, but the, pro pro the, pr exactly. the process is slow, yeah? yeah? Yeah, so we don't take our time to serve, to, to, to serve you, but we take a, uh, a lot of uh, prep time to, <laughs> to do it for you in, the, it right, in the right yeah. way, yeah. I love so. that, you care, that's, yeah. that's what matters. Exactly, yeah. uh, so you're located at Al Wassel Road, yeah. uh, but you have a lot of pop-ups that come up and you collaborate also, and this is one thing we've been talking about a lot on this show, is collaboration with, with local uh, brands as well. Tell me more about that and, uh, and how that comes about. Right, so um, um, I, I see uh, collaborations as a healthy uh, uh, way of uh, sharing ideas and exchanging uh, clients. Um, we uh, close on Mondays, but this is one of the main reasons why I do uh, close on Monday, to use those Mondays to do these kind of pop-ups so we can uh, express ourselves uh, to, do, uh, to get uh, off the script and do something else and uh, just work with other amazing chefs. So mm. yeah, that's the idea of it. Fazil, what would you say are some of the most, or I guess the best-selling dishes on your menu? Okay, this is the most difficult question because we do train our uh, front of the house not to say anything about bestseller. <laughs> There's always one answer I say this. We, ha we actually have a slogan that says, we don't have a bestseller, everybody has a favorite. So we do like the old school way of explaining things. But we do, I mean, the bestsellers kind of changes every, every week. Um, because we are like 100% organic in terms of marketing. And somebody came to our place and talked about it. So we just like see like a big trend in the, in the tacos or like, you know, the, the, the mushroom burger. I mean, and I asked myself why, and then probably somebody made a video about it. So, so yeah, it keeps changing every week. Mm -hmm. There's no, but I have a favorite, which is uh, the picante burger, which is a little bit spicy. That's my favorite one. <laughs> you mentioned a little, little bit earlier on that somebody came and gave you a shout out. Is it important, the presence of social media to really get the word out there? Is it important for restaurants to be Instagrammable more than just produce good quality it food? Is, it is super important and it's super, uh, it's one of the biggest challenges now as chefs that um, we think about flavors all the time. Yes, we, we, we've always had uh, <coughs> presentations and, 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 and plating ideas, but um, uh, to be Instagrammable is, is one, of, one of the really important things. And one of the things we did for that is starting in a low budget, with a low budget, I had no, zero branding for my packaging. All I did was a, a heat stamp on my bun and it was on the outside, not on the top, like mm. just, mm. so we have a, a smiling burger. And uh, when we opened, like everybody was taking a photo of it yeah. before even eating it. So even if it's bad, they don't like it. They already <laughs> marketed it. So that was the, that was, and we became famous like those, those are the guys that they, they, they stamp, they eat stamp their burgers. I love so that. it is very important. Yeah. And I used it. <laughs> yeah. uh, Faisal, I know that you started small and yeah. you started <clears throat> from Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Uh, so, and mashallah, now we have grown massively and everybody knows about Lento. So, and I know that you're very passionate about your brand. So what do you think makes you stand out yeah. in our market today? As I said, like uh, we are, we, we're trying to, to, to make a new breed of uh, street eatery. Mm. Uh, there's, there's plenty of it. We have, we've got the big chains, we've got the uh, homegrown, but then we want to do something like uh, good for you, something that's artisanal, something like we're, where we, this is what we do here at Lento. Like we, we, we don't have a plan to expand and be everywhere really fast. We're taking our time, Lento <laughs> wants to, mm -hmm. that's another, another reason why we have this name. So, um, um, yeah, this is the idea. It's like we, we, we make everything from scratch in the restaurant. The, the buns are sourdough, the, the, 
the meat we grind every day, the pickles we make in the house. So um, this is like a new breed of, of uh, street eatery we're trying to, um, to, to promote. Fantastic. Fezla, thank you so much. I can't yeah. wait to come down and try the smiling burger and uh, <laughs> probably give you an Instagram shout out or two. Sure. Okay. <laughs> right now, Khalid went down to get a taste of London's borough market at the newly opened Mina's Market at the Western Mina CIE, offering some of the classic British staples for an authentic experience. Let's take a look. I'm checking out the newest dining experience right here at West End Mina Siahe, where we are going to be visiting Mina's Market right behind me, and I cannot wait to get the taste of this amazing food. Well, Chef, it's a pleasure having you here with us. Tell us about this beautiful place. Hello, welcome to uh, Mina's Market. Uh, we're here at West End Mina Siahe. Uh, we've created a British London market style concept, implementing many nostalgic areas of cuisine that uh, you would be used to in the UK. The idea is just to provoke the senses a little bit and uh, yeah, we've made, created a lot of shop style windows with uh, a market vibe uh, and the focus is on really fresh market produce going away from the five star hotel restaurant and bringing in uh, an experience which is full of life and activity um, and yeah there should be so many different things here that people wouldn't necessarily um, get to try on a Wednesday night in Dubai. So when somebody comes down to the market what's one thing that you recommend that they should try? The part I've enjoyed most has got to be creating the pie shop. Um, it really is quite basic for me with my fine dining background, if you like, with a bit of complicated food going on. Um, it's literally a choice of seven pies, choice of three mashed potatoes, and a choice of three gravies. And um, it really is like a typical London pie shop. We've created all the shop front um, in like old English writing and stuff like that. It's just, yeah, it's been it's re really good fun, to be honest. Well, I'm very excited to have a walk around and actually start trying some of the food. So I am waiting to see what this market has to offer. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you, Khalid. I had a wonderful time right here in Mina's Market where I got to taste UK's best and delicious food. So come on down every Wednesday night and give it a taste. Mina's Market, definitely one to look out for and thank you Khalid for that report. Now Zainab has been patient enough to stay with us throughout our show but we definitely want to get to know you a little bit better. What's in me? Yeah, so DXB in 60 Zainab, no pressure at all but I'm going to ask you as many questions as we can in 60 seconds. Are you ready? Sure. Okay, in three, two, one. Zainab, if you weren't in the restaurant business, which industry would you be working in? The art industry. Mm -hmm. One thing you cannot live without? Music. Your motto in life and in work? Just focus on what you're doing and forget about everything and everyone else. I love that one. Your hidden gem in Dubai? Uh, um, Arus Bender, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. Your inspiration? Uh, movies. Mm -hmm. And a book that you're reading at the moment? Uh, Hungry by Renee. Top series you've watched this summer? Oh, definitely Supernatural, I'm a classic. Okay, wow. Top podcast recommendation? A, a, a Saudi podcast called Finjan that covers different mm. areas. Okay, and if you could hang with someone for 24 hours, who would it be? Oh my God. Um, a deceased or alive? Your choice. Anthony Bourdain. Okay. The most interesting person you've ever met in the city? Tough. Uh, one of my best friends, Mohamed Kazem. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. That's your time up. Thank you so much, Zainab, for your time. It's been great getting to meet you and get to know more about TTMB. Thanks a lot for having me Absolutely. over. Really enjoyed my time. Thank yeah, you so much. I really appreciate uh, all the time from Zainab. Uh, now, time for us to look at yet more talent here in the city. Time for us to get a little bit of a sneak peek on our local band today. Hey, we're the ARC. We're very excited to be with you guys tonight on the show. Stay tuned. <laughs> 